The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2022 Sveriges Riksbank Prix in Economic Sciences in honor of Alfred Nobel to Ben S. Bernanke, Douglas W. Diamond, and Philip H. Dybvik for their research on banks and financial crisis. And that's really the essence of the prize. Banks, why we have them, and how they act in times of financial crisis. The laureates are rewarded for three articles that touches upon this subject. Ben Bernanke made a retrospect of the deep crisis in the 1930s and tried to explain why it had gone so bad. Namely, that what started as a downswing worsened when banks went bust, because when banks went bust, they stopped lending to enterprises and innovators, and that had a devastating effect on economic activity. Diamond and Dybvik picks up the same thread, but from a theoretical angle. They explain that the beauty of banks is that they collect money from small-scale depositors and lend them to investors with big enterprises. And that means that small-scale depositors who need the money from time to another can pool their money through the banks and channel them to long-term investment. This works well in normal times because not all depositors claim all their money at the same time. But if a rumor spreads that a bank is about to go bust, depositors rush to the bank, claim their money. The bank has to retract the lending from the long-term investors, those investors, get into trouble, no new credits are uh, distributed, and the effect on unemployment is very bad. Diamond added to this in a third article in 1984 that the bank also supervises uh, the lenders on behalf of the depositors and build a knowledge about each lender to ensure that they spend their money correctly. If the bank goes bust, that knowledge gets wasted and is an added factor that means that credits are not forthcoming until that knowledge has been renewed. This translates from the laureate side into suggestions for depositors, guarantees, but also for central banks to take responsibility and see to it that banks don't get bust. And this has been applied in the economic crisis of 2007-2008 and was perhaps also a reason why the pandemic 2020 didn't really turn into a great financial crisis.